So this is my traveling drone kit. It's very small, but capable, inexpensive, and sometimes even goes unnoticed by airport security. But what's exactly in this kit and how can you build one for yourself? Well, today we talk about it. So here it is, my FPV kit, and everything I need to fly FPV is in this kit. Everything from my drone to my radar, even an action camera is in here. So the purpose of this video is not to show you how to build this kit specifically, but to show and illustrate the things to consider when building your functional, inexpensive, and disposable drone kit. Yes, I did say disposable. <laughs> Now I recommend that your travel kit needs to meet three requirements or three criteria. The first is functionality. What's the point of bringing this if this thing is not gonna function like an FPV drone? It has to fly like an FPV drone, it has to perform like an FPV drone, and it has to capture the image that you're taking like a traditional FPV drone. Now the second criteria or characteristic your drone kit needs to have is to be inconspicuous. It doesn't need to attract a lot of attention. And that's gonna require your drone to be very small and quiet. And the third criteria or characteristics your kit needs to meet is to be inexpensive. In the event that this thing becomes damaged, stolen, or even confiscated, it's not gonna hurt your pocketbooks or wallet. So let's take a look at my kit and see if I meet those three requirements. Before I begin, I wanna weigh this whole kit and see how much this thing is gonna weigh. As you can see, 856 grams. So not that heavy. So let's open this up and see what I have here. All right, so there's some stuff already falling out, but boom, there you go. The first thing I see here is my drone. Now this drone here is very small. This is the GEP RC Smart 16. And when I reviewed this drone, I did say that this would be a really good travel drone. This thing has a lot of performance. It can carry an action camera. It's a 2S drone and it has Express LRS, so it can fly pretty far. Besides that, the characteristics of this drone is really great. It really does perform like a freestyle drone, guys. So let's put that right here. The second thing I'm good with is my radio. Obviously, this is an Express LRS receiver or drone, so I have really good range. If I find this in some unusual or unfamiliar uh, places, I will have the range to fly my drone and bring it back to me. That means I do need an Express LRS radio as well. The one I have here is the Beta FPV Lite Radio 3. Now you might say, wait, why did I go with this compared to something else? Now this radio here is really compact. It's full with features. Now this is my travel drone of choice because this one here has the multi-protocol uh, module in here. And besides that, I can put Express LRS as a slot for it. And it was literally made for that really compact setup. On top of that, this radar here is really affordable and inexpensive. If I were to lose this whole kit or someone were to steal this, then it's not really a deal breaker. It's not really gonna hurt my pockets, but it performs very, very well. So as you can see, the bottom half of our case here is now empty. Let's go to the top half, which is really interesting. How am I gonna see my drone and fly? And that involves a monitor. Now, one of the most difficult parts in flying FPV is carrying your goggles. The goggles is one of the largest things in the whole FPV kit. These things come in different sizes and shape. It's very subjective. Um, I've seen box style goggles. I've seen some cheaper Fat Shark style goggles as well. Unfortunately, those still are pretty bulky and that would require a bigger kit. My suggestion is to have a monitor. You can still look at your screen, fly your drone and still capture the image. Now that doesn't give you the FPV experience, but you still have the FPV recording coming back to your drone. Now last but not least, let's talk about this bag of goodies here. And this bag here makes everything here work. Without this bag, nothing here is gonna work. The first thing I see is some batteries. And I have a few in here, I have like three or four sets in here. And these work pretty well. Now how am I gonna charge these batteries? <laughs> Here's my charger, it has four different ports. I can charge four batteries at a time. That's pretty convenient and I can do this on the go. I can do this in the field because I have a USB-A as well as a USB-C port on here. So I can charge this in the room or on the go. Really convenient and it works pretty well. Now you're saying, how am I gonna film FPV footage? Well, it's as easy as having a small action camera. This is the Runcam Thumb. And I've done a review on this as well. Pretty good camera, 1080p high resolution. And it's gonna be a higher resolution than the FPV V coming from this camera right here. I also wired in a harness right here so it can be powered straight from the flight controller. Besides that, I have some other goodies in here. I have an antenna for my monitor and some repair tools. Now, in case I do crash my drone, well, I need a tool for that. Well, this one little Allen wrench right here, 
can do everything. This thing can mount my action camera. It can remove the top plate, the bottom plate. And yeah, this thing is really functional, really small, but it works. Talking about damage and crashing, I also have some spare props in here. I have four propellers in here in case I do damage to that. So can I assemble this and fly this drone with this setup? <sighs> I guess we can try it. We're here, why not? The first thing I wanna attack is the drone itself. I wanna set that up and the action camera. So let's see here, this should fit. Here we go. Perfect. Wow, it does a really good job. There you go. And there you go, here's my drone with the action camera on there. This is the battery holder. Um, so we'll put one here. These batteries are pretty awesome, guys. Here's the other one. There's your setup right here. Let's set up my radio. A couple things, I wanna put my antenna on here. Perfect. And then I wanna get this going. Now, the only thing I don't have in this kit is this little cell phone holder. You can buy this anywhere and just screw this on here. And let's mount this to my monitor. Let's see if I can put this in here, whatever. But there it is. That's the setup we're gonna fly with today. All right, I think that's it. We're pretty much set up on here. All right, let's power on the radio. All right, Express LRS module is powered up. Power on my monitor. There it is. So now all we have to do is power up this drone and see if this thing works. All right. <laughs> that's crazy. Even the camera's powered. Start recording. We're recording HD. Step back a little bit, see if I can fly this thing. There you go. This drone does not have propeller guards on there. Pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, I heard that. All right, disarm, 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 bail out. <laughs> uh, where is it? <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. As you can see, it works. So here it is, guys. That's my inconspicuous FPV travel setup. This thing works really well. No issues at all. Um, as I said before, I, I travel a lot, guys. I traveled a lot, and this thing here is like a, a regular pouch. Uh, never once do I get stopped. It's so inconspicuous, guys. Now, one thing I have, to, I have to notice here, especially if you're traveling, guys, I'm sure you guys know this. If you are traveling, make sure you have your LiPo batteries with you on your purse and never check these things in. Uh, and that's for good reason. If these things were to light off, then there's no access to them in the cargo compartments. But with this small little setup, there's no need to check this thing in. You can walk through the airport with this thing in your hand and do whatever you want. What do you think about my travel setup, guys? Is this something that you might wanna consider building for yourself? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll leave links to all these products down below. I've also done reviews on all these products. I'll leave them down below so you can take a look at it and see if it's right for you. So anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.